T minus one minute, 20 seconds and counting. We can see the purges of the main engine uh, as we prepare for ignition. T minus one minute, 10 seconds and counting. Liquid hydrogen tank is at flight pressure. Coming up on T minus one minute. T minus one minute, mark and counting. The firing system for the sound suppression water will be armed at just a couple seconds from now. It has been armed. T minus 45 seconds and counting. T minus 40 seconds and counting. The development flight instrumentation recorders are on. T minus 35 seconds. We're just a few seconds away from switching to the redundant sense sequencer. T minus 27 Go, seconds. Start. We have gone for redundant set sequencer start. T minus 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15, 14, 13. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We've gone for main engine start. We have main engine start. Houston, you're going 40. Houston, you're going throttle up. Roger, go ahead, throttle up. Roger, Columbia on a nice ride. You're lofting a little bit, so you'll probably be slightly high at staging. Columbia, you're in negative seat. So that call up says uh, that uh, Columbia, the altitude is too high for ejection seat use. Columbia, your go for SRV set. Two minutes, four seconds, standing by for SRV set. Roger on the SIP, Columbia. Mark, uh, 2 minutes 20 seconds, confirm solid rocket booster SIP. Check out the picture. Mark, uh, 2 minutes 30 seconds, solid, go ahead, on board guidance is converging this program. Columbia is now steering for its precise window in space for main engine cutoff. Mark, 2 minutes 40 seconds, Columbia now 39 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 42 nautical miles downrange. Mark, uh, 2 minutes uh, 50 seconds, Columbia... Columbia, you're looking a little hot, all your calls will be a little early. Okay. Columbia now has two engine rotor capabilities. Roger. Mark, 3 minutes. 3 minutes, Roger. Young and Crip and Rayleigh moving out, now velocity now reading uh, 6,200 feet per second. Mark uh, 3 minutes 15 seconds, Columbia now 51 nautical miles in altitude, 66 nautical miles down range, velocity now reading 6,500 feet per second. Mark uh, 3 minutes 30 seconds, Columbia now 55 nautical miles in altitude, 78 nautical miles down range. 
Mark, uh, 3 minutes 40 seconds, uh, standing by for a return status check and mission control by Flight Director Neil Hutchinson. Columbia given a green to continue. Mark, 3 minutes 55 seconds, standing by for a press D'Amico, which uh, says Columbia should lose one engine. Columbia, uh, stand by, press D'Amico. Columbia continues flying forward. Coming up on the Mark, return. press for Miko. Roger, press for Miko. Mark, uh, four minutes, eight. Columbia, stand by for negative return. Mark, negative return. And your map is good. Mark, uh, four minutes, 25. Five seconds. Sure is, we can confirm it. With that call up, okay, Captain, yeah. Tom, Captain Tom Brandon Stein, Columbia now committed to space travel. Young and Crippen can no longer turn around and return to the launch site. Columbia, Houston, uh, we're showing both Ohm's PC transducers off scale high. Mark, uh, four minutes, uh, 45 seconds. The uh, flash evaporator is activated on board to cool. Uh, Roger, setting off scale low here. Roger, stand by. We'll keep an eye on it. Mark, four minutes, 56 seconds. Columbia is lofting early in the second stage. Is now being taken out of the trajectory as program. Columbia now 74 nautical miles in altitude, 181 nautical miles in altitude. That's nominal there, man. What a view, what a view. Glad you're enjoying it. Mark, uh, 5 minutes, 15 seconds. Uh, Columbia now 75 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 202 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading 11,000 feet per second. A, a status check and mission controlled by Flight Director Neil Hutchinson. Columbia, Houston, your go at 5.30, Miko, 8 plus 3.4. Mark, uh, 5 minutes, uh, 40 seconds, that call up from Capcom. Okay, Brandon Stein says Columbia is projecting yeah. navigation and engine performance. Roger, Roger, Columbia, reading you loud and clear. Okay, you're clear, a little weak. Mark, uh, 5 minutes, 55 and seconds. And Columbia, we just switched over Bermuda. Boy, should be getting better here in a second. Roger, hope you don't catch it, dude. Six minutes, uh, Columbia now 76 nautical miles in altitude, 280 nautical miles down range, right. velocity now reaching 13,000 feet per second. Columbia Houston, uh, could we have the cryo heaters please? And Columbia, your single engine rota. Uh, Mark, uh, six minutes, 25 okay, seconds. Get the that call up from Capcom Brandon Stein says that if two engine failure occurred, Columbia is capable of an emergency landing at Rotor Naval Air Station, Spain. Mark, uh, six minutes, 40 seconds. Columbia pitching over now, diving to increase velocity, decrease altitude, giving Columbia her most favorable attitude. Columbia now 72 nautical miles in altitude, 373 nautical miles down range. Velocity now reading uh, 16,400 feet per second. Standing by for a single engine uh, press to Miko call up from Cap Kennel, Brandon Stein. Columbia, your single engine press for Miko. Mark 7 minutes 20 okay, seconds. That right report there. says a young and Griffith can achieve orbital insertion even if two engines go out. Mark, uh, 7 minutes, 30 seconds, Columbia, 67 nautical miles in altitude, 485 nautical miles down range. G-Force is building for Young and Crippen now, up to 3Gs. Mark, uh, 7 minutes, uh, 45 seconds. Columbia's main engine slowly being throttled back now, should be throttled at 65% at 6 seconds before main engine cutoff. Status check in the control center. Columbia, Houston, you're go at eight. Mark, eight minutes, four right, seconds. Panel, looking good. Columbia, now 63 nautical miles in altitude, 606 nautical miles down range. Mark, eight minutes, 15 seconds. Columbia, now 63 nautical miles in altitude, 650 nautical miles down range. Standing by now for main engine cutoff. Miko, 25670, up at 220 feet per second. Roger, Columbia, Miko. 
Confirm shutdown. Uh, Columbia, the gem of this new ocean now in space, not yet in orbit. Now, now standing by now for external tank separation. Roger, we confirm the set, Columbia. Nine minutes, three seconds. Confirm external tank separation. Columbia now performing an evasive maneuver, moving below and beyond and translating to the north of the external tank. Uh, Young should see it moving away out of his window. Nine minutes, 40 seconds. Go, no, go status check and mission control for the first Olds burn. Give it a go. Columbia Houston, your goal for nominal Ohms 1, and for APU shutdown on time. Mark, 9 minutes, 55 seconds. Columbia now maneuvering to its Ohms 1 burn attitude. And using the 26,000-pound thrust engine, the Ohms 1 will be positive grade, moving Columbia forward and higher on her flight path, placing Columbia in orbit. Standing by for ignition, 10 minutes, 22 seconds. Columbia, 67 nautical miles in altitude. 1160 nautical miles downrange. Okay, we got 102 on the left and 101 on the right, PC. Roger, Columbia, they're looking good to us. A status check in the control center. Columbia, Houston, uh, we have 40 seconds to LOS. Configure LOS, you're looking good burning over the hill. We'll see you at Madrid. Okay, we've got a second to go. We're in a 97 by 42 right now. Roger. Shuttle Control Houston, uh, 12 minutes mission elapsed time. Uh, we've had loss of signal with Columbia through Bermuda. The next station to acquire will be Madrid. Still receiving data, however, in the control center. Uh, right at uh, shutdown, they saw the, uh, or right at uh, loss of signal, they saw the shutdown of the uh, homes. 